I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, fuck! Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, I didn't know I was recording. Um, I, this is Black Hole Billy, guys. You can call me whatever you call me. And I'm doing another review. Black Hole Billy review. And I'm doing it on my big baby. Oh, that's kind of broken. I guess I don't know. I need a new spring. Fifty eight eagle. I guess not. It's not the coolest gun. I mean, but, um, I got it from a friend for his birthday. It's pretty awesome, though. I like it. Pretty boss. Then, um, just regular spring powered. Um, came with two clips and a holster. I'm only using one clip for this video though. The clip holds about 28 degrees. It's pretty amazing. And, um, it's a big ass clip and a big ass handle. So you gotta kinda fit your hands around it. <laughs> That's kinda weird, fit your hands around it and grapple. <laughs> but, um, and then just tuck it. There you go, you have your gun. And uh, as you see, this thing's either always down or always up. I'd rather have it always down than having it always up. Because it's kind of messed up. The hammer is the only thing that's messed up on this gun. Otherwise, this gun's amazing. But, um. It's a fun gun to have. It's always good to have, like, a Desert Eagle. It doesn't matter if it's spring or really anything. Just it's kind of cool to have a Desert Eagle in your collection. And to take out to the field with you. I mean. I wouldn't honestly take this out to the field. This is my, I take my baby out to the field, my air mag. This doesn't stand a chance on the field compared to this baby. This, or this, this one's a lot lighter, realistic weight. This CO2 bitch, they're gonna go down. You can see what we about to say. But, um, whoa! my diesel. It's a good gun, it's reliable. Um 280 FPS, although it's um its actual range where you're gonna hit somebody is out to thirty or I mean not out to thirty, but fifty to seventy meters. I mean fifty seventy meters that way you're really at past that you're done. This gun's really not gonna hit anybody so I'm accurate after that. So um so Normal, ah, oh, fuck, cut myself. <laughs> the normal mechanics of this gun are pretty simple. Bottom safe, or bottom, uh, shoot. Gonna kill somebody. Uh, up. You're not really gonna do shit. Um, the hammer mechanism. Uh, that's cocked, uh, it doesn't really stay down there. So, about that, something cool. That I can do since it's kinda broken. Pretty boss, but yeah, that's the only thing. This is that's really cool now, but yeah. And then you have the fake ambidextrous safety up here, but that's because it's spring, you know. This is a kind of uh, it's an okay gun, but um, overall, it's gonna honestly, I wouldn't give it a very high rating, but it's cool to have in your collection. It's a good gun to have in your collection, um. And actually, I wanted to show the markings on this gun. There's a few markings. There's an IMI sign on both sides of the grips. And then, um, right here above the trigger guard, you have the, um, cyber gun. Cyber gun. And then up here, you have, uh, Desert Eagle 44 Magnum Pistol, uh, from Israel Military Industries, which is IMI, their company the brand. And then this just pretty much says, I don't even know what it says. It's no problem. Right, right there. It's just the Israel military industries and shit like that. Probably, and it says, it just, um, uh, you probably can't see it. Yeah. It's just, um, Israel military industries, magnum research and shit like that. Or that's what it says, yeah. And then there's a um, marking down here, but that one's just warning. I don't know why you have that on this gun. 
But um, the mushrooms are actually pretty, like, you can make them like that. So, um, that's about it with this review. Peace. I'm going to go back to, um, playing my game.